And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be hitting rank 8 with the Guitari Beast Tribe in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Ifri. So I've been doing the dailies for the Guitari every day along with the Dwarfs and the Pixies. And I've now maxed out the reputation. And a quest becomes available Sean, uh, from Sharkwall. So the quest is called Glory Be to the Scree. Sharkwall is pondering the history of Ronka and his people. So, oh Mifri, on behalf of the stewards, I thank you for your tireless efforts. You have our sincere gladitude. Indeed, we Katari must bear the responsibility of having spread the pox uh, to these parts of the forest. Finally, we have brought this painful chapter of our history to a close, and we could not have done so without your invaluable aid. At first, I feared we might damage our relations with the Knights Blessed and the Vs beyond repair. Instead, we have managed to overcome the plague together, and in doing so, the time-tested bonds between our people are stronger than ever before. I tra travel to Silverbow and for now all the time to share tidings from the forest with my newfound friends. And with the guidance of the Great Serpent, we have reclaimed the long-lost knowledge, not just on our of our own kind, but of Great Ronker itself. In studying the restored uh, Stella, I have had occasion to reflect and uh, ruminate on the history of the Empire. It truly was a great civilization, controlling and exerting influence over all of ancient Overan. Um, it was a civilization of great enlightenment, welcoming myriad peoples and uniting them under a single banner to live in peace and prosperity. Um, Hume and V's, Katari and Ronso, living side by side and working towards a common good. The artistic and academic accomplishments of the Empire were many. And yet this is the greatest uh, strength would also prove its downfall, or so by theory holds. Um, as the Empire expanded and the years went on, once strong friendships and alliances began to turn sour, um, all disagreements flared into an all-out conflict, and Ronka once akin to a mighty tree uh, that s uh, seemed um, as if it would stand forever, began to splinter from within. Imagine Ronka in his final years withered and dying. No doubt the Emperor sat on his throne, waiting in vain for the arrival of one who would restore his empire to his former glory, waiting for the ally of Ronka. Compared to the long storied history of Ronka, my own three years, even as an infignescent, um, as a drop of water in a great and gushing river. It's insignificant, idiot. So I understand the sentiment, my boy, but it is not so. Uh, while the lifespan of any one Katari may be short, we must never underestimate the value of our shared knowledge and wisdom, accumulated through our many experiences and recorded for the sake of prosperity. Uh, just as our forefathers did their part to shape the course of Ronkin history, so too will the discoveries you have... Uh, sorry you have made serve to forge the future of our people and the Great Wood itself. But we must not forget our friends and allies, without um, whose aid we may not have survived to see this day. Might I trust you convey our gratitude to them on my behalf, Sharkwell? Of course, Father. Consider our glad, no, gratitude conveyed. Oh, ever learning, I, I see. Uh, Mifri, might I trust you to escort my son to for now? Um, I will not be able to forgive myself if anything unfortunate happened to him on this day of triumph. Come, Mifri. Master Lanil will be overjoyed to see us, I'm sure. Okay, so rather than escort his own kid as father, he would have a random stranger escort. That's fine. Each to their own. Okay. 
All right, there we go. Here's Lanil. So it pleases me to hear that all is well at the Stopple. We are honored to have done our small part to be of service to our Qatari friends. Never did I think I would live to see the this old age alliance of Ronka rekindled. For us as well, Master Linil, for ancient rituals uh, to the remedies that eased our pain in trying times, there is so much wisdom that we learn from you. I am certain that this is only the start of a long and fruitful friendship. You are wise beyond your years, my young friend, and there is much that you and your people have already taught us. I uh, promise that you will continue to share with us your gleanings from history, <laughs> that we might put them to use um, ourselves in protecting and preserving our forest home. It would be an honor. All's well that end wells, yes? And now, I do believe the time has finally come that I stop tarrying and take to the road. So, um, are you going somewhere, my good Madam uh, Fina? I will depart on a journey that um, has been far too long in the making. I tend to travel beyond the Great Woods Reach in search of V's who live scattered across the land, that they might join us um, here in Retika to together preserve and pass down the wisdom of Ronka. For now has always been my home, and it will not be easy for me to leave it behind. And yet, I will leave with the knowledge that the forest is in good hands. Promise me that you will not let uh, Zuna get into too much trouble, yes? I dare say that you are the one who needs looking after, sister. Perhaps I should accompany you. Rest assured, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. Uh, forgive me if I refrain from stepping into the midst of this uh, sibling squabble. Uh, go in safety, Fina. I know that the Azor blooms will always guide you home. Thank you, uh, Master Lanil. I will return. And with that, I had best be off, before I find another reason to delay my journey any longer. Young Charcoal, Mifri, promise me that you will be well. Fina. And you as well, uh, Sina. And no matter how far my journey may carry me, know that a part of me is always here with you. And I with you, sister. So saying goodbye is not easy, is it? But it is time we return to the road again ourselves. We must pay our respects to Valan and Quinfor after all. Very well. Uh, we will not keep you any longer. Do pass along our respects to our friends in Sliverbow. I was not certain what to think of that Quinfor at first, but he has proved a loyal friend. Of course, should you ever have time, do come visit Father and I. Uh, nothing would make me happier than to be able to show you around the Stopple. Okay. So, we have to go now to Sliverbow. So, basically, we're just saying goodbye to everyone. For this journey that has been the Qatari Beast Tribe. Okay, so let's go, I think, into here. Okay, here's Valan and Quinfort. Oh, uh, Master Valan, are you certain that you should be up and about like this? I have no worries. Uh, have no worries, my little friend. I'm feeling like my old self again. I hear that all is well again in the Stopple too. That's truly a relief. 
Um, I shudder to think of what would have happened to all of us here in the Great Wood if you hadn't made your discovery. Truly we owe a debt of our gratitude to your ancestors and their wisdom. And truly we all um, owe a debt to the Great Serpent of Ronka, by whose divine auspices young Charquil was led to uh, the Stella on which the cure was inscribed. Uh, yes, praise be to the Serpent, praise be. Uh, do you think that you could uh, keep your voice down a bit? Some of us are still recuperating from the life-threatening plague, you know. So, speaking of which, Arquil, whatever made you think that the little fellow was the Great Serpent in the first place? When Quidfort first started rambling onto that end, I thought that he'd finally lost the last of his wits. An excellent question, Valan, and one um, I have been giving some thought to myself. Father had always told me uh, tales of how the Ronkers worshipped a great serpent um, as their guardian and protector, but there were no clear records of its physical presence or appearance. Um, on the night that darkness returned to the skies, the small creature we now know uh, well, arrived before us wearing that curious hat. Intrigued, I followed after it. It led me through the ravel where I saw the passage to our um, and central homeland. Um, all, sorry, was at long last open and once more. Uh, jumping for joy, I picked up this small creature up and ran home to share the news with father. With a tear in his eye, he gazed at me deeply and spoke these words. The Great Serpent itself has arrived to guide us home. In that moment, I knew it must be so. But a moment of divine inspiration, no doubt, and not altogether unlike my own. Yes, this is most fascinating indeed. Um, in my own case, the Great Serpent has appeared before me in my visions for as long as I can remember. Time and again, it shared with me the words of wisdom, and I have so dutifully recorded as the Gospel of Quintfort. One day, I it called out to me with a terrifying scree, warning of a great calamity that was to befall the Great Wood, um, if I did not take action, or did not rise to action. It was shortly after that we came upon that tiny creature in the forest and I recognized it immediately as the incarnation of our Divine Protector. It's clear now that all was leading up to this day. Um, its first appearance in my visions, our meeting, all has been part of the Great Serpent's grand design to restore peace, harmony and prosperity to the forest. Uh, truly, we would never have been able to rediscover our history uh, or um, overcome the spread of the plague were it not uh, for the serpent's guidance and wisdom. Clearly, your forefathers rev revered the great serpent as well. Why else would they have engraved it atop the final stella, uh, buried deepest and furthest from the city as reach? Now, this um, immaculately uh, preserved Stella stands before us as um, in uh, controvertible <laughs> proof <laughs> uh, that uh, this tiny creature is indeed uh, which all instinctively perceived it to be. Can you speak simple words, please? The manifestation of Ronka's divine protector who hath come once more in our time of need to guide our peoples through trying times and into a new generation of peace and prosperity. Thus thou then. Scree. At last time, after its work was done, the Great Serpent left us going off to some place where only gods dare blah blah. Actually, it's just been following Mithri about on her adventures, you know. What nonsense is this, Valan? Clearly the Great Serpent has been watching um, over us all this time. In any event, it is clear that we owe the Serpent a debt of gratitude. It would be remiss for of us 
or for us not to make a pilgrimage to the site where we might properly pay you know what i'm not even going to read it how about that <laughs> i would like nothing more than to pay whatever a master quint for but there is no telling where the serpent has gone where might we go that it might hear our words Fear not, my young uh, Qatari friend, uh, for I know just a place. The ancestral slumbering place of the Great Serpent. The mighty crystal that has appeared before uh, me time and again in my visions. So I speak of none other than the fruit of the protector, uh, cradled amidst the waters of Lake Tusi Mekta. Uh, Valan and I... Uh, make the trek there nigh on every day to express our gratitude to the Great Serpent for uh, deigning to share its divine guidance with us. Uh, don't look at me like that, Mifri. I didn't go every time, and when I did, it was for just keeping Grimfort here out of trouble. Just how should we go about expressing our gratitude to the Great Serpent? Um, an astute question, my young friend. If you wish, uh, I would be happy to share with you some choice passages from the Gospel of Quinfort that would be most suitable for the occasion. For example, there is a chapter, chapter 15, verse 5, which begins as follows. O hearken unto the heavenly scree. Never mind, Quinfort's ravelings. I'm sure that the serpent would appreciate it all the more if you thanked it um, in your own words. So, uh, would... F I'm not even going to read it. Thank you, Valan. I believe I will do just that. If it's not English, if it's not proper grammar, I'm not even going to read it. I'm not even going to condescend myself to do that. Okay. So, all right. So, we need to get to there. So, once we get there, we will continue. Okay, so we caught up with Sharkwall. So, let's... Talk to him. So, well, here I am, but what words can truly convey my feelings to the Great Serpent? Um, oh, hearken unto the Heavenly Scree. Lol. You could just say thank you. That's what I said. Just say thank you. Let's go. Perhaps I should just keep it simple, yes. Oh, Great Serpent, thank you ever so much for watching over us. You have my most sincerest gratitude. Um, it was by your guidance that my people have reclaimed our history, and that I have made so many new friends and allies. I promise that we will never forget you, and to pass down tales of you for generations and generations to come. What's happening? Uh, do you think that the serpent heard my words? Squee squee. Okay, so we need to talk to him again. So when the crystal glimmered and glowed, it almost felt like it was speaking to me. You believe this means that the servant heard my words? Um, at the very least, I take heart knowing that I have conveyed my thanks to the serpent and to all of our new friends throughout the forest. And with this, I can return to father 
and to the sopple with my head held high. Cool. All right. So once we get back to Hopple Stopple, we will continue. Okay, so we made it back. So I cannot thank you enough for accompanying my son throughout the forest. To the end, you have gone above and beyond on our behalf. It is a debt of gratitude the Qatari will not soon forget. So in reclaiming our heritage and history, we have also rekindled time-honored bonds of friendship with our fellow residents of Ritika. The Knights Blessed, the Vs, the Great Serpent, and not the least of all, Mifri, ally of Ronka, all have played a part in events that will be etched in the annals of history. Uh, yes, the stewards shall see to it that these events are handed down to our children and our children's children, and so on, until long after we ourselves are gone. You have our word. And in the meantime, we shall continue our excavation of the tunnels beneath the stopple. I have even considered commissioning the creation of a new stella, on which all we have gleaned in recent days may be recorded for prosperity. Father and I might not have seen eye to eye in our imperturations of history, but I can assure you that we are of a like-minded, uh, like mind, sorry, regarding the future we would forge to our people. Oh, how you've grown, Sharkwell. It now brings a tear to my eye. Thank you for everything, Mifri. I know that there are many places you must journey, but know that we will always have a home. You'll always have a home here in the Stopple. Um, is that not so, old Great Serpent? Well, let's finish. Reputation up. You now achieve Blood Swarm reputation with the stewards. Uh, you receive an experience point bonus upon completion of the Katari Beast Tribe daily quest. And that's it. And we got a nice bonus. 10 million EXP for it as well. So we are now done with all the Beast Tribes in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. So we'll see when more come out in the future. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.